Hey guys, uh, so I'm not sure if you saw Netlinked last week, but this guy, part of Ivanonymous, is that, yeah, that's what you call yourself. Um, well, he came in and, and took myself and, and Manny hostage. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not really sure why he's letting Keys, Jack, and Julia come in and out of the studio as they please, but uh, to the tech news. Well guys, today's the day. AMD has officially announced Ryzen, and I'm not even wearing my shirt. I've, I've ruined everything. The trio of Ryzen CPUs were announced today. The Ryzen 7 1800X, 1700X, and 1700 all have eight cores and 16 threads, 16 megabytes, level three cache across all cores, and are unlocked for overclocking. The top end 1800X is $499 American, with a 3.6 gigahertz base speed and a 4.0 gigahertz boost speed and a 95W TDP. This chip is up against Intel's i7 6900K, which has a 3.2 gigahertz base speed, 3.7 boost, and is $1,100 more than double the price of this Ryzen chip. Damn, dude! AMD also says that the 1800X scores 9% higher than Intel's in the Cinebench R15 multi-threaded rendering test. As for the other two parts, the R7 1700X is $399 with 3.4 GHz base speed and a 3.8 GHz boost, and the R7 1700 has a 3.0 base, 3.7 GHz boost, and goes for $329. Check the sources down below for a bit more info on this, but these first three Ryzen CPUs are available for pre-order now and uh, buyable on March 2nd. A few Valve VR things in the news today. Firstly, the company has announced they're ditching their $3,000 tracking course that was required to become a Steam VR tracking partner. This means that basically anyone can develop Steam VR enabled hardware. The course and in-person training will still be available, but Valve is also making its training documentation freely available. Steam VR support is also coming to Linux, so, Linux content on the HTC Vive headset, trackers, and other hardware will be possible. Lastly, Valve VR trackers will soon be sold separately. Until now, you could order the tracking stations from HTC, but now you can purchase straight from Valve's online store, so that's pretty cool. There were a few things there, so let us know how you feel in the comments below about the story or your life currently. And I don't know how tech news this is, but NASA certainly used technology to discover seven Earth-sized planets. The organization used the Spitzer Space Telescope to find these planets, which are 40 light years away from us, and exist in the Goldilocks zone, where apparently liquid water is possible so it would be habitable, habitable for life. <laughs> this is the first time astronomers have discovered another solar system roughly the same size as ours. And guys, it's only 235 trillion miles from Earth. That's like a trip from your house to the corner store, you know. Uh, for real though, Elon Musk has to be pretty excited. A little too excited about this one. It's time for... Shorter news stories that will put in any others. That's the little ditty a guy, the, guy, uh, the guy did a while ago. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I'm gonna keep using it, probably. This guy made a song. Made a shorter news story song. Anyways, you'll get it. NVIDIA, after lots of rumbling, has given a pretty big hint that they will be announcing the GTX 1080 Ti at GDC as they put a countdown timer for the ultimate GeForce livestream on the GeForce website that have the letters TI bolded. Is, I don't know if bolded is a word, but in, in the word time. Or maybe they were trying to bring more focus to M-E, me, wait. Wow, wow, lots to think about, hmm. New leaks of the Samsung S8 show the screen on with a real thin bezel. There also appears to be no physical home button on this model. Apparently games on Steam will be priced higher in 10 different countries starting in March. Some of those countries include Switzerland, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, and India. I'm sorry guys, it's a hard knock life for you. Uh... Yeah, well. Google Daydream did a little experiment where they made a HTC Vive headset transparent in mixed reality so you could see a user's face through the headset they were using. This is done by using a 3D scan model of the person's face along with HTC Vive eye tracking technology. In an effort to make VR uh, less isolated and weird, they've made it only far more frightening. Almost as frightening as this guy. 
And on the Nintendo YouTube channel, two Nintendo employees unbox the Switch, and this is the first unboxing, so check that out. The video is also almost as cringy as our channel, so get ready. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description down, down below. I love bread. Gluten is my homie. That's, uh, that's not true. But, yeah, well, bread is delicious, but it's not the greatest thing for you. But I do like that Star Wars GIF. That's right, GIF. Never seen it before, so thank you, Sebastian. Hey guys, just another reminder that NCI XPC is in this year's Intel Rig Challenge again, so please vote for us. Maybe if you do, this guy will finally let me go. Uh, but also, if you do vote, you, you also are entered to win a GTX 1070. So please help us out with that. Get voting, everybody. And Get down on the ground! Drop the weapon! Hand over the hostage! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Matt, you're safe. Every night Get... in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. That is how I know you. Go on. Far across oh. the spaces and distance oh, between us, you have come to this? show you go. Screw the hostage! Wait, no. Oh, I didn't sign up for this! Wait, no, please. Please don't, please don't go! Wherever no. you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more. You open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on.